people you talk to in LA, when you come on business, anything you ask them, they're gonna tell you it's great. You know, you get, oh, we should go do an Upper Decker right now. That'd be fantastic. You should definitely do the Upper Decker. Right now, lunchtime Upper Decker, who doesn't like that, you know? I'm like, no, really, like, that's not a good idea. Like, stop me. Somebody gotta stop me. I'm gonna drop the ill disclaimer on you here that Midsummer Night's Dream, if we shadows have offended, blame Vice because we here, since it's a cheap ride from San Francisco to LA, two episodes, one plane flight, you already know. The saving grace is that I'm introducing you to my dude, Roy Choi, and we're going to East LA, which is actually a very charming, ill Mexican neighborhood, and we're gonna have the best tacos you've ever seen at Guisados. <laughs> What's good? How's it going? How's it going? This is not Hollywood, kid. It's not Hollywood, but it is the real LA, you know? I mean, Definitely. I've been to LA a few times, and I really, it's suspect to me. Do you know what I'm saying? Everyone I come visit is just trying to show me like another pool deck, you know, another roof deck. This is the real deal. This is East LA, man. Oh, wow. This is a piece of culture you don't see much on the East Coast, you know, because um, you don't get a lot of the same immigration to New York from the states of Mexico that you get here. So this is chicharron, you know? Yo, just so, just so all know, usually I give you a lot of the food technical aspects, but this is chef versus chef, spy versus spy today, man. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to Roy, you know what I mean? It's his town. It's always ill to meet other Jedis, and Roy is definitely Jedi master. What are we getting, Roy? Um, you gotta get anything. Yeah, the cochinita pibil, the mole yeah. poblano. I don't eat meat anymore, so I'm gonna get some of the veggie For stuff. For real? Yeah. Armando, you gotta give him some of your best. Uh, yeah. Probably the cochinita, right? I think the cochinita. And, uh, that's probably good for him. Some cilantro. Okay. Thank you so much. Where do you live in LA? Uh, Koreatown. Okay. Did you grow up out there? Uh, I moved around a lot. My parents came in the early 70s. For any Asian immigrant at that time, you couldn't get a job because you were looked at as a brown, slanty eyed, dark haired motherfucker. You know, yeah. like you could not you get. You wash clothes or you cook food clothes, or you, you drove cook cars. Food or you're a janitor. Yeah. Or with the Koreans coming in the early days here in LA, you open your own business. During my main period of um, elementary school, I was mainly in the restaurant. Yeah. And that's where a lot of my whole understanding and love of food came from. Yeah. I came back to food after yeah. doing the law, trying yeah. to be a journalist, doing all these things because I realized that I would be given a fair shake in food, yeah. but I wouldn't be given a fair shake in a lot of us. People expect yeah. us to be good at food. Like yeah. for me, a lot of my cousins are really smart and do really well. And I was always like the black sheep. You know? yeah. Like, fuck, man, I can't sit in this like laboratory and split cells. I just yeah. can't do that, yeah. you know? And then it started to wear on my whole consciousness of like, I'm a fucking loser. I'm because a, you didn't I'm fit this model minority stereotype. That, you know? yeah. And then I think it took this whole like generation through the 80s and 90s for us to kind of mutate and evolve. And, yeah. then, um, and now it's just coming to fruition where like, we're doing it with expression in our yeah. own way. This is homemade masa for tamales and tortillas. Uh -huh. Come on in. Cool. Especially oh, for your East Coast guys, you know, like this 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 stuff is yeah. uh, this stuff is new to y'all. This is the dry form. It comes in a dry state. Yeah. And it doesn't actually boil, it doesn't cook, we just steep it. After it's rinsed, it goes into the hopper, right behind you. I'm sorry. Man, the, the smell and flavor it's is so corn. strong, I'm like sneezing in here. It's just ground corn. At this point, we can take this and add lard, shortening to it, and make masa for tamales. At this point, it's good for tortillas. Delicious. We don't usually see this process. No, this is, this is the West Coast pizza dough right here. Go 
Chinita Bibi, Calabasita, the Ongos and Slanter, or Mushrooms and Slanter sauce. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah let's get some on the side. The thing about cuisados is cuisados means a stew. This is a stewed style of taco, but yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. No, I'll tell you what, unless it's a high heat broiled, I, I really think proteins should be slow roasted, braised, something. You know, something yeah. to get the glutamates out in a slower way. This is kind of like the LA vibe right here, you know. When you eat, there ain't nowhere else to go. There's no before, there's no after. It's just right now. I've never had a tortilla like this this good. Right? Anywhere outside of East LA, yeah. in America, you don't see tortillas like this. You know, I grew up in Orlando, a lot of Mexicans in Orlando. Yeah. They made great tortillas, but they were the white ones, the flat, that are more flimsy. Yeah. This is like toothsome, this is like al dente, you know? Yeah. Fucking salsa is so spicy, though. <laughs> That chili sauce is in fuego. I'm not doing that. My ass would be on fire by like 7 p.m. The last two generations of American kids, you wake up and you have fucking Pop-Tarts. <laughs> at lunch, you yeah. have a fucking Hot Pocket, you know? Yeah. And then at dinner, you know, you're having fucking uh, Hamburger Helper. Yeah. And none of that shit is at a table. None of that shit is with other people. Yeah. You know, on a daily fucking basis, that shit is just fucking, like, corrosive. There's people who eat microwave meals and Pop-Tarts. Yeah. There's us who eat homemade. Yeah. We all do what we do because of the environments we grew up in. Yep. And we just want people to get the whole spectrum. Yep. And you make your own decision. I want to make food as cool as, you know, Monsters and, and Red Bulls and Pop-Tarts. I want to make it as cool as something grid. So that yeah. way, food is a part of their life. Yeah. And they can make a choice. Much respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Much fucking yeah, respect. Yeah, you gotta pay I really don't hang out with that many chefs, and Roy is one of those people that, that transcends being a chef to me. He, he understands things in and outside of the plate. He takes it beyond, and he's really trying to tell a story with his food, with his actions, with his business, and I really relate to that a lot, man. <laughs> Next up on Fresh Off the Boat. Back then, the guy riding shotgun had a shotgun. Yeah. I said, the person sitting in the passenger seat now is my kid. And I don't need nobody shooting at me because of old beefs. Yeah.